Hey guys, I'm out here fishing. Greg, go in. I wanted to make an intro for a video. Um, I've been working on this boathouse. I had this idea of checking the temperature under the boathouse and out in open water. So that's what I've done. I'm gonna start off checking the yard temperature, the sun, the ground. I've done that last as I was leaving, but I'm gonna put it in first because you're gonna be surprised how that goes, okay? Watch the whole video how we tested the water temperature under this boathouse. Comment on it at the end, guys, please. Check it out, guys. Okay, guys, I'm gonna share something with you today. This is, this is where I'm working. Okay, look at this view. This is a view where I've been, been here almost two weeks. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, this is the boathouse I'm working on. But, oops, I got moving too fast, I'm sorry. But what I'm gonna share with you, okay, after a while, is uh, I got my heat gun with me. Yep, a temperature gun. Here's what we're gonna do, all right? I'm holding this on a stick, guys, so if I'm a little wobbly, that's why. Got this metal hoe in the water. It's in the sun. Now, it's, it's only about 9.30 right now. We're gonna wait to about 12 o'clock and do this, okay? We could shoot the water temperature. Now, let's see what the water temperature is right now. 82.9, okay? That's in the sun. And we're gonna do this at lunchtime, too. All right, let's go over here to the pontoon boat in the shade, okay? Ready? 81.8, so it's one degrees difference here this morning, all right? I got a metal rod in the water right here too. This is my digging bar. Because you know metal will be the same temperature as the water, right? So we're gonna see what is there next to the bottom. Does that make sense? All right, we're gonna come back at lunchtime, guys, and we're gonna check it again, all right? All right, guys, I walked over here to the shade. I had an idea, we'll see if we can see if it'll work. Let's just shoot the ground right here in the shade, okay? Okay, look, 77. Let me walk over a little further. Let's try it again. 77. All right, let's walk here in the sun. I was just saying a little bit ago that you get it from sun to shade. Let's see what the difference is. I'm gonna walk here in the sun. Y'all wanna see the view where I'm working? This is where I've been working. Isn't it pretty? All right, let's walk here in the sun. You ready? 92. 94 okay that's why the crappy i think get in the shade of the dock and walk right back up in the shade you get what's been shade a lot now okay let's get up here closer to the tree we'll do it one more time here 77 there you go that's why they get under a dock guys i think it's for the shade okay folks y'all can see it's the middle of the day it's uh after about 12 o'clock in it mason okay we're gonna shoot the sunny side again here we go, 85.5, okay? We're gonna come in here and shoot the shady side under the pond too. Look here, big rest, big area. What do y'all think of our deck work? We're all done by putting the rubber back on the, around the edges. 83, 83 on the water surface here. Like I say, over in the sun. Eighty four, right there in the sun. Okay, now, here's what we're gonna do. I got a metal digging bar right here. Mason's gonna pull up. We've head in the water. We're gonna read the bottom of it. That means what it is at the bottom of the water. It's by what? Three foot here, Mason? Four foot most. All right, 83. So it's 83 at the bottom. Again, let's shoot, let's shoot, uh, shoot 84. So it's the degree cooler close to the bottom of the lake. Now we got one in the sun over here. This is just our water test guy. Everybody says all oh, the water is way cooler under a boathouse. So we got a one degree difference. Now this one's in the sun. All right, Mason. I got it. He's got it. You can pull it and it's in shallower water. All right, here we go. Hold on to it, Mason. 105, hold on to it, ain't right. Okay, 84.9. Okay, it's 84. So it's 84, the water's 84. It's the same temperature, aim at the bottom. So here's what we're learning, guys. Y'all gonna like what you're learning? We come over here in this pontoon what do we have? One degree? One to one and a half degree difference just in surface temperature. See, it's 84. I mean, 85. 
right? Okay. All right, guys. Just, just playing with the gun here now. Oh, it's 84 right here. How do you like that? So what do you think about that? Everybody says it's cool. It's 84 right there. All right. Excuse me. It's 83 here. So the water's mixing because we got weight coming here. It says people are skiing and stuff. So it's pushing pockets of water around. As I'm moving around, let's go up to this stall. Okay. Let's try it right here. 86. So we're getting the different water temperatures to move around because when you got people out here skiing and stuff, it's pushing this water around. It's moving through this dock. I, mean, I can see a piece of grass right here. It's moving through this dock. It's cooler at the bottom. Now, here's what my theory is. Everybody says, oh, it's cooler under the boathouse. Y'all seen the tempters? Y'all give me the feedback. Here's my theory. If you go out there and stand in the sun out here, okay, you can walk over in the shade of that tree and you go, oh, it's cooler here. It's a little breeze going today. It's cooler here. Let's sit in the shade. Why? The sun's rays hit you here. It's going to make you hotter. In the wintertime, you want to sit in the sun, right? In the wintertime, crappy, you know, crappy are getting under this boathouse. In the wintertime, if I was just fishing here for crappy, I'd fish out here at the mouth of the creek at the cove here and I'll catch crappy in three to six to eight foot of water in 20 foot of water they'll come up and get where they're sitting in that sun to get that sun's ray so they can feel that sun right now they're doing the opposite on summertime when the water's in the 80s they'll come in here getting under the pontoon boat why because it's dark and no lights hitting them no sun rays are hitting them and it feels cooler to them all right that's my theory I'm sticking to it <laughs> Y'all tell me what y'all think, guys. You see, there's a wake boat here. See, he's stirring up water. Y'all been around a wake boat, guaranteed you. So if you got boats going on, you got wake going on, it's pushing out water through that boathouse. It's going to be a little cooler. If you're somewhere where there's no water current, there's no current, there's no wake from boats, who knows? It might be a degree cooler on that dock. But y'all seen the temperatures? I shared them with you. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Fishing Lake Country. My name's Dennis. See y'all next time, guys. Hey guys, what do you think? Did you think that the water temperature was going to be a lot cooler on that dock? To one degree, one degree and a half? And it varied as I shot around different places on the dock. Some places were hotter. Some, one place was what, three degrees hotter than it was under the pontoon. Because the water current moves here. We have a lot of water current in this lake. Like right now, I'm sitting here rocking because people are skiing around me and jet skiing. That water movement goes under a dock too and moves that water, okay? So, uh, and in that yard, the ground, the difference in the heat of the ground from the shade to the sun, that's why I think the fish get under a dock to get out of the sun rays. Same as we get in the shade, right? And it, it is a little cooler, but not a lot. One degree. But I think, too, they move around and get in the water column. Because I'm in deep water right now. I'm sitting here right now. I'm sitting here 22 foot in front of a dock. That's why I've been fishing this dock. And that's what they're doing, too, guys. They're not in the shallow water. They're, right, they're on the main channel under the deeper docks. Why? Because the water's cooler, because it's deeper, right? Plus you got the current from the main channel in the river, right? But y'all tell me why y'all think what you thought about the video. Okay, I hope it was interesting to you because I learned a thing from it. Appreciate you guys, can't say it enough. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching. Check out lakecountrybaits.com. Costly adding new colors, added some last week, okay? And uh, got a new one coming, okay? Got a new one coming. You're going to see this video coming up. It's called the Tweety Bird. Okay? It's an inch and a half. It's coming up. Hey, you never know what you're going to find on LakeCountryBase.com. Right now, she's fully stocked in every color. Appreciate you guys. See you next time. Fishing Lake Country.